Hello everyone and welcome back to this let's play on no man's land as you can see there in the in the first bit just sorted out liming the third field from the last episode so that's set up now today's plan is to get the rest of the fields put in so i think what the plan is to work out the area so in my head straight away where the rock formation is that'd be sort of boundary split so you have one field this side of it one field the other side of it and then one field up the steep hill at the far back and then one in front of the farmyard and then i might put so i think that'd be seven fields then three Four, five, six, seven, yeah. I might do an eighth field where the bulldozer at the minute is. Or I might just leave that sort of as it is. So, first things first is always just putting a few more pathways in. Um, I quite like... It's difficult on the um, PS4 to get the pathways in compared to PC. Just because it's it can be difficult to follow sort of the line that was there already. So, yeah. I think that's good. Now what I'm trying to do is this one I'm going to try and th these fields I'm going to try and make a bit straighter. So that's what I'm just working out is where the straight line is. Because when you get sort of your, your key points put down um, it sort of just makes it a lot easier. And in other news um, I have just ordered and it should be here the 10th of October. That'll be tomorrow, my first gaming PC. So, I'll still be running this episode on the PS4. So I don't really want to start over again. But, I will be running a few different things. So, um, more as an experiment, I found... Um, I think it's called Cattle and Crops. I always get the name wrong. So... I've managed to get an early key for that. So I'll be trying to run that. Um, on the side of this. So all my plan is. Apart from me working full time at the minute. And doing this when I've got days off and evenings. I'll be trying to run. Probably two recordings a week. Um, the main the main recording will be. Um, will be this. Um. On the no man's. Um, and I think also. With the PC. Um, I might end up. Getting a few PC specialist maps. So home farm I think is one of them. It's just sort of some bigger. Stuff to play with. And then I might also do what a lot of other people have done. Um, survival challenges as well. So it's just. Yeah we'll just see what. Happens. Um, as the time goes on, but yeah. So my target is still minimum one recording out every week. I'll be aiming for two. Um, the advantage of me being the work I'm in, I'm, I can sort of have a bit more free time than, than a lot of people may have. So that's always a, a bonus. Um, I think with this episode... I worked out the total recording by the time I finished the last field came to three hours. So, yeah. So I think today's plan is get all the fields done. And of course, always running the lime spreader. So, so the reason he just stopped here. I don't know why. He just randomly decided, yep, that's it. I've done enough. And that's it. This is why I love these workers. It's like sometimes they just randomly hit invisible objects. Randomly you come up with random stuff and ideas. And then before they know it, they've broken down. So. Sorry if you heard any background noise there. That was just my fiance 
uh, with the dog. So you probably more likely heard the dog in the background than you think. Right, now, so, yeah, where was I? Oh, yeah, talk about the line spreaders. <laughs> Any breakdown here. So, anyway, getting back to this, so, standard things, what we're doing, just field marking out, working out all the lines, and just making sure everything is as straight as it can be. I hope everyone who's watched this so far is enjoying the series, um, the episodes. As I said before, just remember to um, like and subscribe. It helps an absolute ton. Um, and if there's any little improvements you want to make, certain things, just always let me know because that'd be great. Right, that's that. So yeah, I'm going to put this on a time lapse and see you guys in a little bit. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town. I've never seen a sky so blue. We don't ever play it in the night is young. It doesn't matter what we do. There ain't nobody like. There ain't nobody like. You look so beautiful. So lucky to be yours And you're taking me Falling. It's cold outside, and I kind of. 
I just don't know what to do It should have been you I know it's nothing new But it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight Through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two Me and you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 I can't believe you love me It's a 
hundred times Another drink and I'll go anywhere The way you smile Like a flash in the universe You are illuminating I don't really care about the people in the bar line I don't really mind All the woo girls who and stage dives
Wicked 
shapes in millennia Give 
give up Just hold on tight It'll be alright Now at this point, I was just turning around, keeping an eye, making sure I don't go over the lines because I've got plough on, and all of a sudden as I've approached down this hill, I've panned out to make sure my line looks good, and then I've noticed, as the camera levels down, Jim Bob over there, and I'm like, what's he doing there, he should be doing the other field. So I'll check the map, but all suddenly I've noticed, as you can see, he's there. And I've noticed this bit's been left. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. And I look at the line thinking, 
slightly concerned what he's doing there. And what I think's happened is there's too much overlay between the fields. So he's got to confuse what he's working on. So pardon me there. He's got to confuse what he's working on. And yeah, you just saw that flash up blue. That's why I double checked as I come down. So I'm like, right. That's interesting. So I'm like, right, what is he going to do now? So at this point, I scrapped plan A of going across the bottom as normal. I thought, right, to make this easier, nearly had a tank slapper there. I thought, right, I'll drop it here and then run, run up and over so he's got double the width. So my plan here, generically, was to run at the field, hopefully, plough the turf up before he gets there, and it'll all be fine, and everything will work well. Um, thinking, yeah, it's looking good. Check where he is, he's there, so he'll come across. And at this point, I'm thinking, I'm ahead. Okay, then, mate, what I'm hoping is... He'll end up covering that, covering where I am. And I'm hoping when he gets to the top and ends up doing the far headland, he'll realise a lot more the fields left to do and he'll come do it. That's what was processing through my head. Um, I know the gaps there. I will come back and fill that in. Um, if anyone's wondering how I've worked out, there's actually another YouTuber who suggested it. Use something on the tractor to get your line so on here with this, I worked out the mirror either side. Um, if I keep just the other side of the plow texture, I am normally within, and I don't miss bits. So that's what I'm trying to do: is it coming down, looking at the left mirror, trying to get that lined up. And here I know straight away I'm over, but I'm also trying to rush a little bit. Just so, when he comes down, and now at this point, I've stopped, I'm waiting for him to clear. That should be my first indicator that my plan may not work out. So that should be my first warning that the work has, or Jim Bob hasn't worked out. I'm here, and that. It may not quite work out as well as I wanted. And about the setups, I, lo I love this um, setup I've got. I think it's about 600 horsepower. Definitely need it on this because um, this is probably everything I've plowed so far. This will be the steepest line going. The only problem I found with this is. If you run it at 24 mile an hour, you can tank slap quite easily. So, I found a way around that. You just basically make sure you aren't driving too fast. And then you won't hit a tank slapper. Now I'm thinking, okay. In my head I'm thinking, hopefully I'm slow enough that when he turns his around, he won't hit me. But yeah, you can see how much turning circle they need for the workers. Quite a lot. You can see a drop in five miles an hour. Four. How low can we go? Three. So we're hovering about three, four miles an hour at the minute. Um, yeah. Thing is, if you do decide to put fields any further higher, you are going to have fun because, yeah, it starts in steep inclining. And yeah, it's probably best to go across them instead of down. Now, at this point, I should have realised he's coming straight at me. It's a straight line. He ain't stopping. And no crash detection. It's the only time you can stop 
is when he crashes into me. So ladies and gentlemen, remember when you are running workers and you've got a straight massive field in front of you that's ready to go. Just remember the simple thing. Turn your worker off before you have an accident. <laughs> when that happened, I was just like, he's not stopping. He's not stopping. Yep, he's definitely not stopping. So yeah, that was um complete fun and games. Right, let's just get this field finished and then we'll see what the last job of the day is. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain Beauty in the mundane And as the light startled our eyes We let go of disguise And now there's something in the air And a sparkly shimmer So while that was doing that, I had an, a, an idea. So this here is quite a nice drop down. I thought it's be a nice water feature through here. I was thinking I could put a field in, but I was thinking, you know what? I might as well just put, and that's what I was looking at. I was thinking, you know what? This looks a nice feature. I might as well just do something different with that because I could have put fields in I've done a lot of fields but I haven't really got a pond and the, one of the most beautiful things about this map is um, there is water, water underneath it basically so you use the landscape tool to go down so what I was going to do is just finish off put a worker on here finish off the last little bits that needed doing Quite a lot on there. So right, while the work is doing that, this is why I looked at fifth sixteen. So I purchased sixteen. While the work is going to finish that off, there you go. 
And I thought it would look nice. Um, it won't be completely finished in the, this, this episode and probably not in the next. But as I got spare five minutes during the working day, um, I, I, I basically would just landscape it and just, just play around with it. Um, now, one thing I forgot to mention about this episode, what I've decided to do is only work depending on the job required. Try and keep it daylight hours only. Some stuff, weather dependent, like harvesting if you can, and things like that, you can work later. Um, 10, 11 o'clock at night, as it were. But I'll try and keep most jobs to daylight hours. So, the only jobs I'd do that I'd say is on dusk or dawn is non-field work. So, collecting pallets, collecting seeds and stuff. So, I thought this is a natural sort of dip um, for this area. So, I thought, oh, this will look really, really nice. Um, so, what I started doing, because it's quite hilly, you don't know how far down to you get water. Um, so, if you're down by the store... You don't have to go that far. Well, I said, this was sort of... And it's always difficult, as you can see. Just trying to get the cursor in the right place to drop it. Um, so there you go. I've managed to find the right place. And there you go, water, bang. So, what I tried then to do is um, push the train back. As you can see here sort of worked and then my long term plan with this is I don't really know what I'm going to do I could have this as sort of a a selling area so um, I have a pond possibly a couple of greenhouses and make this sort of like or I could turn it into a nature reserve um, kind of thing so there's a lot of different options that you can do throughout the, the, the map and different ideas um, but yeah, I just love the idea Alien Jim's done this. Also means then if I get any tankers, I can fill them up for animals. I can fill them up straight from here. Um, I might end up deciding to run it like an actual river. So one way in, one way out kind of thing. So it flows in, flows out. Um, I don't really know where I'm going to go with this yet. I just thought it looked nice. Um, it sort of suited the map well. So, at this point, I was just running with ideas. Yeah, I think that's looking good now. Because that's the thing with this, you can always like, then smooth it out to make ridges. I see what I said about smoothing. So and then it's all the way across. And then it just makes it look less cliffy. If that's a, a right word. <laughs> right terminology. Um, so yeah, here I thought, right, I need a way in, way out. That's too steep. So credit to another YouTuber. Um, Raznak, I think it's a shout out to Raznak for this bit. Um, I didn't realise this. Sort of the easiest way to do smoothing out is... You step it and then smooth it and then it should. I haven't vehicle tested it yet, so I might still need to do a little bit more. But, um, yeah, and then it means that vehicles can run sort of up and down it. And, yeah, you also know how it smooths. So you just, all I'm doing is just watching the money. As soon as that money stops going, it's as smooth as it can go. And then you've got sort of the ground point texture as far as it can be. How's he getting on? Ah, nearly there. But yeah, you can see where, um, especially on this map, the fertilising, and I'll come to that more on the next episode. You can see the outlines, mainly, 
where I've ploughed it. Um, it sort of resets it to 33%, whereas the cultivator, I think, is 50 or 60%. Seems to be an extra thing. So what I've tried to do on this one is, um, and I'll explain more in the next one, is I came up with an idea. It may or may not work when I come to seed it, but I'll explain more about that in the next episode. So here as well, I don't like floating trees. I've done about you guys, but I thought the floating trees don't look good, so I thought, right, what I'll do is I'll create the bank. So what I'm also thinking with this is um, you can do different textures, different scenarios and different situations so you can make it sort of however you want to make it look really and now i've decided to add a little bit of texturing and again shout out to Raznak for this bit you gave me this idea um if i can find the right material um, I think it's more of a rocky kind of looks. I thought you may have a grass bank like that, but I thought uh, the rocky texture looks quite nice. So I thought I'd go with a rocky texture and come across with a rocky texture. So he's completed his task. So I'll come back to him in a minute. Find out where I am. I got lost. <laughs> it's quite easy on this map to lose where you are. Where I am. So. See again, a little floating tree. So it's just having imagination, really. Um. And then just running with different ideas. So yeah, that looks nice with the undulating comes up. And yeah, with with him, he's um with Alien Jim, this is probably one of my most favourite textures. It's sort of the dirt grass kind of look. Yeah, I like that. But yeah, there's a lot more that I can do with it. Um, so I'll probably expand it, make it bigger. And I thought I'd put a dirt road in for the sort of any vehicles that come up and down. But I quite like that. That looks really nice, actually. With the rocks at the back. Um, I might try and put some foliage in or something. Right, I think that's looking near enough where it should be. Yeah, it's close to what I need. I like that. So you've got the undulating banks coming down. Um, but then I also looked at it thinking actually what I could do with putting a couple of... Um, adding a few more different features. And as I think, it's always just working out what looks good and everyone's artistic impression is always different so more stare at this yeah i like the the um rocks on one side i wish though there i don't know if there is i'll have a look through if i can find some like lilies find some lilies or something like that um, add some 
water foliage as it were to it right now what i think happened with this field is so i'm quickly just going to go that's better cleared my throat sorry about that i think one was because this field was done in bits i think that's why i had to be go back over with it again um but we're nearly there so i think this is nearly time to call it on this episode um just a bit longer than what I planned it to be on this one, but yeah, it just depends what gets done. So some episodes I think will be, I'll aim between 40 minutes to an hour per episode and then mix all of the different time lapses in and stuff. Because I'm guessing like with this, you don't always want to watch me do the same thing over and over again. So, um, but I don't know if you feel like similar to me. I, my problem with the time lapses, I don't like them too fast. So... If you think they're about right, too slow, too fast, just just let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, right. I'll finish this off and I'll see you very, very soon. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>